For the last 13 years, the cicada has spent its life underground in a hibernative state, feeding off of the life essence of tree roots. But now, on this cool spring night, it's finally time for it to emerge from its underground home where it'll begin its second part of its life cycle. But what is a cicada? What does it even do? And why does it spend so much time underground? And how does it impact the world around us? In this video, we're gonna talk about it. A cicada is a true bug. It's one of the insects we can call a bug and it's not incorrect. Um, it's related to things like tree hoppers and aphids and such. It's a whole group of um, basically plant sucking insects. So they have piercing sucking mouth parts. Cicadas can be categorized into two main groups, annual and periodical. Where annual cicadas come out every year or every few years, periodical cicadas time their emergence to be much more distant, with some groups emerging as long as 17 years apart. These two groups can be composed of over 3,000 different species of cicada. When different species emerge together, they are classified as a brood. Out of the 3,000 species, only seven are periodical, with broods occupying much of the eastern United States. And in the southeast, we have every 13 years what we call brood 19. And this year, 2024, is the year that 19, the 13-year periodical cicadas emerge. Brood 13, that's emerging in the Midwest, there's 17-year periodical cicadas. And these two broods haven't emerged in the same year since 1803. 1803, that was 221 years ago. Just to put that into perspective, the last time this happened, Thomas Jefferson was president of the United States. But what is the periodical cicada's life cycle? Why does it spend the majority of its life underground in a hibernative state? What is it doing? The males are calling here today and they're calling the females. Only the males sing and what they're doing is chorusing. Uh, it's a super stimulant. So the more males that are together, the louder the mating sound, the more females they'll attract. And then they'll mate. When the eggs are fertilized, the female will take what's called an ovipositor. It's like a, sh a sharp syringe needle. And she'll make a slit in the tips of branches of trees. She'll deposit batches of eggs and the eggs then will develop. And then in about six, seven, eight weeks, the baby cicadas, the very tiny nymphs, will come out, they'll rain down, and then they'll, they'll burrow into the ground. But they're eventually going to work their way down to the root, usually of deciduous trees, of hardwood trees. And that's where they're going to latch on. They drink the fluids coming up through the roots of the tree, the xylem. It's amazing. Cicadas can count because the trees are going through winter, spring, summer, fall, and, and the cicadas know this. It's incredible, but they basically can count winter, spring, summer, fall, that was one year, winter, spring, summer, fall, that was two years, and then with our 13-year periodical cicadas, they're growing all during that time, and uh, on the 13th year, they'll come up off their root, out they come as a inch, inch and a half final instar nymph. They'll crawl, out, crawl up on surfaces, usually vertical surfaces like the trunk of a, of a tree. And then they shed their final immature skin and go through a molting process where they become an adult. It takes about four or five days for them to go through the molting process, harden up, go to the top of the trees. Males start singing, females come into mate, and the whole process repeats itself. Scientists believe that periodical cicadas spend such a long time underground as a way to avoid predators. The interesting thing about periodical cicadas is they emerge in years that are prime numbers, meaning that the number is greater than one that is not a product of two smaller natural numbers. But why is this important? It is speculated that because cicadas emerge in prime numbers, it is to outlive their predatory competition. For example, most reptiles, birds, and mammals normally have short lifespans, most mammals, such as rodents, foxes, dogs, etc., only live three to five years, give or take. This is critical to cicada emergence, because cicada broods can outlive the majority of their predators, not allowing them to adapt their lives to the cicada emergence. Cicadas seem to have spent so much time adapting for periodicity that they didn't develop many defense mechanisms from predators. So, they overwhelm the system with sheer numbers. But why such large amounts? Well. Since there is such an overwhelming amount of cicadas coming out at one time, predators can eat their fill and still leave plenty of cicadas left to continue the population. So with cicadas, it's pretty much a numbers game. I'm going to count how many years until I emerge, and when I do, there's going to be so many of us that there's no way that our population can become extinct. So, what is the purpose of a cicada? Well, cicadas are a boom in a natural food source on emergence years. 
they feed all kinds of animals, and studies have shown that on emergence years, many predators are at their lowest population amounts. After emergence years, there is a spontaneous growth in reproduction and population of many animals. So, cicadas are a very valuable resource for the environment, with many species relying on cicada emergence to boost their population. And even after cicadas have mated, laid their eggs, and died, their carcasses are a great fertilizer for the ground. So, cicadas might not seem very important on the surface, no pun intended, but under the surface, they are a pivotal species for the well-being of many ecosystems and the creatures within. But, with urban development, there is no telling how much longer cicadas will thrive but the periodical cicada has proven to be adaptable and resilient. So hopefully down the road, we will be able to experience more emergences to come. So overall, the cicada is a true bug that spends most of its early life underground living off the essence of tree roots. When it finally emerges, it mates, lays its eggs, and the life cycle continues. In the process, it feeds many predators and ecosystems, boosting the population exponentially. So on the outside, cicadas might look scary and frightening, and with their loud mating calls, even obnoxious at times. But they don't cause any harm, they don't destroy crops or timber. So, the cicada is the ultimate giver to this planet that we call home. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and hit that like button. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye That sound.